Men are never appreciated. I appreciate your work, but I don't like it. You see. <laughs> Happy Friday guys! Here it is finally that only day of the week that everyone is so excited about it. All week since Monday we are like struggling at work, at school, anything. The adulting is quite like a hustle but once finally there is that day everyone is waiting for everyone is going to enjoy it there are so many different ways how people are enjoying their friday afternoons or nights but in this video me with gwen are going to share with you our tour of friday edition keep watching this video and enjoy it and at the beginning of our Friday edition we will show you how it starts. Maybe it looks different from all of you there or maybe you will be familiar with this kind of Fridays. So let's see. And here it is guys, that sizzling bubbling noise. With that noise you know the Friday is here and that's how we are going to start this Friday with Gwen here. Thank you. Gwen is not even going to give a toast with me. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Good? Did you mix something on it? Alcohol? No, alcohol, it's Friday. A little. Okay. A little bit of alcohol never killed anyone. I had to put on my glasses. Gwen is like complaining that I should make videos without my glasses, but I really can barely see without my glasses. My friends were making fun of me when I was younger, when I was without my glasses. I was HD Jacob. And when I put on my glasses, I am full HD Jacob because I can see everything. But here is the thing, most of the people on Fridays, they are thinking like, finally we are done at work and we can just relax. Me with Gwen are having it a little bit different. We are keeping ourselves on Friday much more busy than in the days from Monday to Thursday. And here is why. Here we are guys in our place. Everything is messy, the kitchen looks horrible. Gwen is sitting here in all that mess. I was on the groceries before I came home from work. So everything is messy, everything is here. And now we have to like manage everything, organize everything, clean everything. And that's how we spend our Fridays. To explain everything, we like to do all the general cleaning, grocery things, doing laundry on Fridays because once you will come from work you are still in that working mindset you are still like with a little bit of energy you are not like slow down that's why we are doing all those things on Friday we will do all the cleaning everything is done and we can be sure we can just enjoy the whole Saturday and Sunday doing the things which we like and nothing is stopping us so guys since Jacob did the grocery earlier, so it's my time to shine in arranging these things because I'm very good at it and I love arranging and cleaning as well. Last, we always like separate it with the plastic so to save the spaces in the refrigerator. So I already made over here like this with my Asian way of sitting. We love doing these things. <laughs> That's very true guys, if you will pause the video when the Gwen is like, she is not even sitting and not even crouching, it's something that only Asian people can do, just try to sit like that. If you are the white person, it will be super uncomfortable for you and you are more likely to fall forward or backwards, you really cannot stay like that, but the all Asian people all around the world, they are just sitting like this and doing all day long and they can sit like that for hours. That's the crazy thing. <laughs> it looks weird. <laughs> Actually, in the Philippines, you can see a lot of people sitting like this in a corner or beside the street or everywhere. And we can just even sit like this for how many hours? We don't get tired. 
That's our biggest talent. No one can ever beat it. That's true. Gwen is done arranging the meat. Like here is all the meat. It can last for a couple of weeks. Also, for the last couple of weeks, we got addicted making a smoothie from orange and carrot. So that's why there is plenty of it. Maybe I have a question for you. What's that? So since you are already married with a Filipina, I would like to ask a question. If Filipinos are good at housework, are we? Or if you are going to, not really about Filipina, but about me. <clears throat> Am I really good at housework? Am I really a clean person or what? <laughs> I'm dirty. <laughs> I would say Filipinos are quite good at housework, cleaning everything, but what they like off is like keeping that place clean. <laughs> They will clean perfectly, yeah. but just 10 minutes and it's dirty again. <laughs> Biggest example, Gwen did huge general cleaning. Everything was shiny, everything was perfect. I came home from work, I was just admiring. I just sit here, enjoying my coffee, and then Gwen was hungry. She take off something from the fridge and she got the bottle of mayo. And she wanted to shake it so it will be easier to put it on the bread and while shaking it it was all over the wall i'm not sure if it was a plan of it like painting the kitchen at advance but superpowers have to make it nice way of folding just like mine mm -hmm. yeah it's when it's folded it's folded that's not the way i fold it huh and you see that guys woman complaining when the men are not doing any house chores and once the men will do all the effort for helping their woman they are being complained from women that they are doing it incorrectly so the women don't know what they want it's not but the thing i will ask you now baby like what do you say about my way of cleaning or my mindset about cleaning it should be fast but cleaning is cleaning but it's different from organizing yes. and that's what men lack the organizing and you have to fold it like upside down. Thinking about if we, we ever compare Filipino men and European men, I will just generalize European men. European men know how to do houseworks and for them, it is a job that, that doesn't make them feel like they're gay because in the Philippines we have this standard like that only men should do the housework and it's really a gender equality inequality for us because imagine I have eight brothers in my family but none of them are helping the housework so it was only me and my sister in our whole life doing all the housework and all of them doesn't know how to do it they don't even like help for for example washing the dishes but it's not only me brothers but all men in the Philippines actually it's very rare for us to find a man who do the housework and for us girls in the Philippines we're always like adore those men who are helping their mom to do the housework but here in in Czechia or here with Cuba I don't even ask him how to do it because he's even doing it by himself and he's helping me a lot with the housework I'm very happy for that and I'm very surprised that all men here know how to do housework helping their parents in the Philippines, it's different. Men doesn't do those things. It's only a woman's job for them. And for their mind, their job is to make money and women should do the housework and taking care of the babies, that's all. I will add something to it. There were ages many centuries ago, many centuries ago, <coughs> when women were not allowed to work, women were not allowed to vote, so many things women were not allowed. They were just being in the house, doing all the things about cleaning, taking care of kids, like those. But the times changed now. Women are allowed to do all those things, going to work, everything. And it became like equal. Nowadays, men cannot be like just working and going home from work and telling their woman like, oh my God, you did not do anything. But the woman also came from work that time. She's also tired, the same like the man. But it's really crazy in the Philippines. All men 
are expecting their woman that once they arrive from work, women should already prepare some foods. But if not, it happened already so many times that the husbands were punching the wife just because she was not able to prepare anything because she was very busy of taking care of the kids. And that happened all around the Philippines, actually. Will you punch me if I will not cook for you? You are not cooking <laughs> for me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not cooking for him. It's only it's always Kuba cooking for us. I cook sometimes, but not really all the time. It's always him. So we have it like 50-50. <laughs> I'm the one who cooks and Gwen's the one cleaning, cleaning after me. And both are enjoying. I don't like that cleaning, but I love cooking. And Gwen don't like cooking, cooking and, and she I likes that cleaning. cleaning. Yeah. Everything <laughs> works perfect. <laughs> I'm almost done when cleaning the bathroom and speaking of bathroom guys like remember one thing if you will remember just one thing from this video I will be more than happy bathroom is the place which keeps you clean you are taking a bath there taking a shower brushing your teeth everything skincare remember this like this place keeps you clean so you want to keep this place clean as well you know what that means clean your bathroom or CR or whatever you call it um, by the way for those who are new to this channel my name is Jacob and the little dwarf living with me is Gwen we are a young married couple making YouTube videos and if you like our videos you can hit the like and subscribe button so you will not miss any of those things for better thing you will hit that ring so you will be always notified about our new videos and we will continue in our Friday edition. Me with Gwen are actually proud owners of the most amazing vacuum ever. The specific thing about vacuum He's not vacuuming, but once you can hear it, you will think it will suck out everything. <laughs> the superpower of that vacuum is super noisy, but it's not sucking anything. I'm always scared of using that because neighbors here are very sensitive to noise, so... And this is it. The power! <laughs> And here it is guys, you could see I made a bed <laughs> But it's not good So it's, it's done good. again Men are never appreciated I appreciate your work, but I don't like it You see <laughs> You will say it straightly that I'm horrible No, it's not, I just like this way It's because whenever we just went on bed We don't need to do that to the um, blanket So we just can put it easily for us <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> and now you are clean as well. <laughs> we are done with cleaning just for comparison. I will give there like a two clips how it looked before and how it looks now once you will clean your place everything will feels like it's a bigger space much more it feels kind of strange like everything is clean everything is perfect and the only dirt which is left us. is us <laughs> <laughs> as a reward for this whole thing we will get some dinner she's hungry but all those time lapse, it's really not like hard to clean, guys. Imagine all time lapse, you could see it was like, let's say, one hour of cleaning. Like the small flat we have, it's really not that hard. If two people of you will join together, it will be faster. 
What if it's me sometimes cleaning? It takes me five hours to finish. Because <laughs> I already don't like just cleaning. I want to general clean, organize everything. Gwen is like too perfectionist, but it's a good characteristic. It really is, but you have to count with that the things you are doing will take much longer. Oh, what are you gonna prepare for me? I'm very hungry this time. Surprise! <laughs> Delicious! And one more thing I want to say, the boys, the men who are watching this video, there is nothing to be shy about if you want to be like a cleaning person, if you like things being clean, it's totally normal, it's much more better than you are keeping your place dirty and you don't care there is a dirt. You are not like meant to be gay, just like Gwen said, once the man is cleaning in the Philippines, he is like considered as a gay. Nothing is true about it, no worries about that. Let's move to the another topic, the recipe for the Friday. The crazy thing what we just did, we just cleaned everything, everything is fine and now we are just going to make the whole kitchen dirty because of my cooking. And you see what I was talking about guys, we just cleaned everything and she's eating <laughs> like this without even a plate. The pickle, the juice from the pickle will be dropping on the floor which I just wiped with all my effort and force. And she will do it anyway. There is a bottle. Woman. And as I was saying, the man will be never appreciated. I don't like beef. I don't care what you like or don't like, <laughs> you will eat food. I will prepare. There are people who are struggling to eat and you will be picky. My gosh, you're scolding me like a kid baby. So, the simple recipe, guys. You will get the beef and the pork meat, a little bit of soy sauce to the meat, black pepper, meat. some salt. I just found pizza, so I will put pizza. One egg. We will get the bread. We will give it a little bath in the milk, so it will get soft. Don't be afraid, guys, to go for it with both hands. Mix everything evenly. Now we'll get the pot. Let's add some oil. We have lettuce, tomato, and the last pickle. You know how are these cooking channels and videos on YouTube? Very professional. And then there is us cooking. <laughs> Messy kitchen. <coughs> But that's, guys, how the real cooking looks like. Remember to stay hydrated. <laughs> <laughs> Once you are making burger, guys, when you are shaping the meat, don't better you will make like it thinner inside and thicker outside. When it's cooking, it will be balanced. Yeah, it's a patty. While cooking the bacon, you can get it crispier if you will. Add a little bit of water. So crispier. To make a sauce, you will need just the mayo and sweet chili sauce. We will slice some cheese. I've got a little recommendation for you guys. If you have a chance to buy this kind of buns, it's not actually a literally buns for hamburgers, but those are sweet buns. It's a sweet dough with the raisins inside. Try it out for your hamburgers, you will not regret. And that fat guys from the bacon, leave it on the pan because we will use it for our buns. So we already put our meat on the pan, it's already frying. 
and we will rest it like this for a couple of minutes and then we will put it back to the oil and with this process you can make sure your french fries will be very crunchy but still soft inside. Final part, we will put it all together, so we will get the bottom part of the bun, we will put the sauce, lettuce, meat, pickles, bacon, tomatoes to the top, and we will cover it. 20 minutes, you have this meal ready. And Gwen is hungry. I will wait for you. Kuba is actually the chef in this relationship. And he's always um, cooking delicious foods, something that is different. And like me, I only know a few things. And um, I would say Filipino foods are very boring. Most of the time it's just frying and some sauce. Most of the time it's with um, ketchup, but nothing is really special for me. But when I came here in Czech, Kuba was able to make super delicious and different kinds of meals for us, for me. And now he's making this delicious burger. <laughs> I was able to marry this guy. When I was so excited for dinner, she was begging me, like, Jacob, please make a dinner, I'm hungry. But yesterday, Gwen was on her adjustment of braces at dentist, and now her teeth hurt so much because of their adjustments and she has hard times to eat that she cannot even enjoy the burger the toothache is actually one of the worst on your body everyone knows that but the burger is like delicious so much i don't want to be arrogant but it really is delicious and little barb cannot enjoy it. <laughs> I'm hungry since in the morning. Because of Gwen is suffering horrible toothache, there is nothing else I can do. I will grab the chicken breast. Gwen will what place is that? the what chicken is that? breast. What is that? No! You did cold your... No! It's... Baby, no! And you can see it, guys, again. Man's advices are never appreciated. So Gwen could look like a normal person with just a chicken breast on her cheek, but now she will look like an alcoholic. <laughs> what are you doing? Love on the first sight. And now after exhausting friday afternoon it's time to relax what kind of relaxing <laughs> we will watch a movie because i don't want to do anything else and here is our looks like low budget cinema because me with Gwen don't have a TV, but we actually don't need a TV. We just watch a movie, let's say like once a week. And during the week, we just don't have time for watching a TV. And me personally, I find it like a wasting of time. And here we are, guys, the last day of weekday, which is Friday. We are here laying in the bed with Gwen, getting ready to watch a movie and enjoy the rest of the evening. The same, we wish to all of you watching this video, enjoy your evening or morning or afternoon, whatever time you're watching this video. 
for those who finished watching this video thank you guys so much for the support if you like the video hit the like and subscribe button if you have any questions we are ready to read it down in the comments take care always and see you in the next video